joy and bread a timeline, a dry and bread a timeline. Do better when you were smoking. I'm so sorry. No, you're right. My feet are long and stupid. You cannot ring that bell. But he never returned my calls. Oh no. Oh, the last thing I said to him was suck it. Me too. Good morning. Oh! Oh! Huh. Oh. Oh. oh! oh my, my god. god. Troy, since when have you taken modern dance? Since last semester. Coach told me it would help with my coordination, and I fell in love with it in a very straight way. I know it's tempting to sneak a peek, but I'm gonna need for you to keep your eyes up here. God, I should have never dismissed you as a shallow jock. Then again, we haven't really spent that much time together. That's because you don't play football or have fun. I have fun tap dancing. I started last semester too. It was always something that I wanted to do, but it was too embarrassing, so I never told anyone. Same here. Britta, nobody can know about this. Joy, who are we kidding? Look at how much time and energy we're putting into hiding something that we're passionate about. We are leading a double life. I am spending a lot of money on breakaway clothing. We should look at this as an opportunity to come clean. Are you saying we tell the group together? We could invite them to the dance recital on Friday. <sighs> Man, I don't know. Let me think about it. Okay, let's do this. <clears throat> Sorry. Hey everybody, speaking of secrets, Troy and I have something that we would like to announce. Ah! No, no. There is a dance recital on Friday, and I would be honored if you guys would attend, because since last semester, I have been taking a tap class. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Well, I don't know how funny it is. Come on. We're not making fun of you, but obviously you kept it a secret because you saw the irony, too. Irony? Well, you're not a typically vulnerable or feminine person, mm -hmm. and the act of dancing is considered both vulnerable and feminine. Mm -hmm. I disagree. What about Fred Astaire? What about Barishnikov? Yeah, I guess. There are exceptions to the rule, but even when Jerry Rice went on Dancing with the Stars... Jerry Rice? Oh, I'd like to. Troy? What, what's your secret? Um, my secret is that I knew Britta's secret. <gasps> yeah, I saw her in her dance outfit and she looked ridiculous. <laughs> so I helped her protect her shame. You know, I'm just glad she's out now. Bravo, Britta. Thanks. <laughs> Mr. Winger, there you are. Hey, what the hell? I thought we were supposed to come out to the group together. Yeah. I changed my mind. Well, they're going to find out that you dance at the recital. I'm not going to be in the recital. I'm dropping the class. Oh, my God. How can you do this to me? I'm so disappointed in you. Hey, you don't get to talk to me like that. You are not Shirley. And Shirley's not my mom. Britta, it's not like we were in the same boat. Girls are supposed to dance. That's why God gave them parts that jiggle. But I'd be going from starting quarterback to a guy that twirls around in tights. I've got way more to lose getting up on that stage because I'm a man. Well, guess what? A real man doesn't bail on his friends or on himself. You're a dancer, Troy. It's who you are. Not anymore. Excuse me. Oh, one twist. Easy, girl. There we go. Uh, uh, thank you. Play something modern. What are you doing here? Being a friend and a man. I wish I know how to tap dance. Oh, thanks, Abed. It takes a lot of hard work, but you mm. can always take a class. Mm, pass. Hey, Troy. Thank you. <laughs> no, thank you. 
I mean, you look so pathetic. You made going up there the most masculine option. Mm. Yeah. You did get weirdly specific when you were describing Annie's body. More specific than the stuff you told me about Britta? What? what? Does anyone get specific? I love you, Kick Puncher! The only thing beyond the reach of my fists is humanity. <laughs> you sure Britta couldn't do your part? Yeah, I asked her. She wasn't available. Let's go film the sex scene. I believe my grandma's rolling her old bones down here. I gotta pick a cabinet to hide in. You hide from her? Yeah. She's crazy. Troy. Society programs us to dispose of the elderly because they don't work or buy things, but don't be blind to your grandmother's value. You need to cherish her. You cherish her? I'm sure I will. You know she's not going to be around forever. I want to believe you're right, Britta, but you never quite are, are you? Is this Nana Barnes? Troy didn't mention you were such a knockout. What's that supposed to mean? Oh, come on. I'm sure you've broken a few hearts in your time. Oh. Tell me, how many men do you think I've laid with? Who are you? I am Britta, and I have offended you, and I am sorry. Is there anything I can get you? Yes. You can get me a switch. A what now? She's not family, Nana. You can't make her get you a switch. She can make me get it. I just have to know what it is. A switch is a stick she can use to whoop you with? Cherish, Britta. Cherish. <laughs> well, it was wonderful. What you doing? Getting Nana a switch. Britta, stop pretending that my mean old Nana is awesome. I'm not pretending. I think it's cool that she's got her own style of discipline. Nana's old school. Yeah, my mom told me there'd be white people that did this. Pocket watches and coffee grinders and pretending to be into steamboats. But let's get this straight. This is real life. My Nana's gonna whoop you. Not unless I find her a switch. <gasps> How about this? Yeah, that's a great switch, Britta. Very hip. It should hurt a lot. Uh, Nana? Here's your switch. Bring it here. I'll make do. Okay, let me have it. I ain't no nun. Bend over. Drop your pants and get over my lap. All you have to do is walk away. She's respecting her elders. See, Troy, did you think I was a hypocrite? That I wouldn't really... Okay, oh, that really... Oh, okay, that really... Nana's a monster. What did you say? I said you were a monster, ma'am. And you said Troy was right. Get me a switch. Okay. Dopey. Oh, uh, dope. Oh, Freudian slip. Perhaps due to my feeling kind of dopey. Do the line, atheist. Jesus, did you really die for our sins? That's dope. <laughs> you think that's dope? Check out these beatitudes. <laughs> Blessed be the peacemaker's word to the meek. The kingdom of heaven is open all week. Jesus and... Oh. I have arrived. This is totally meta. Well, let's get back to our non-meta production, shall we? Go on. No, I want to watch this. Troy, there's no time. Then we quit. 
Right, Britta? I don't even believe in God, but I love me some Abed. Yeah. That woman is a hurricane. Yeah. Hurricanes are bad, Troy. I know. Big boy, big, big boy. Here's my big boy. One, they all cost the same. You can always take the actor inside with me and Troy. How'd you get dragged into that one? Our dance teacher encourages us to take acting classes to tap into our emotional cores, so Troy and I both decided to take it together. Hmm. Foosball was full. I'm on the wait list. Don't give up. This is gonna be fun. I can't wait till we choose stage names. Which do you think is better, Trevor St. McGoodbody or... David. I don't think you have to worry about stuff like that. This class is more about introspection. Drag. Less of a drag. Quiet! I've always felt somehow ignored. Almost invisible. Like every time I go to say something, somebody... My uncle put his finger in my no-no. <gasps> This, this is where acting begins. Ready to go? Boy, he seems really worked up. Hey, don't take on his pain. Tend your own garden. I'll see you in class. What's going on? Oh, um, I didn't have a painful experience to share in acting class, so I made up this story about my uncle trying to touch my butt. But it's attracted to men in pain. It helps her pretend to be mentally healthy. Really? Yeah. I hadn't noticed. Troy? Hmm? Nothing good can come of this. Yeah. I have to think really hard about how to defuse the situation. No, Uncle Lucius! I don't want to play in the laundry room! My emotions! My emotions! Uh, for homework, drink a glass of cognac in a bathtub. Troy, I feel like I'm seeing a whole different side of you. There's just so much darkness. And my soul is darkening, and my heart is mad at my kidneys, and my mouth. See you tomorrow. But stick to the crappy stuff. I don't want to get cornholed on the bar tab. Pierce, you can't just throw around a term like that. Cornhole. 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 Pierce, Troy was molested. <gasps> cool. Troy, we didn't know. Troy. Do you need me to recommend a support group? Hey, he's not a victim. You're a survivor. <sighs> Yeah, about that. I wasn't so much molested as much as I made it up. What? Oh, well, you're here. Look, Britta, I'm really sorry. Troy, kissing you was a mistake. It will never happen again. Good. Before my ex-boyfriend Pablo was arrested for forging church relics, he accused me of only being attracted to a certain kind of guy. It was hard to understand him, though. He's pretty huffed up on paint thinners. Well, maybe someday you'll fall for someone who's healthy. Someone who, other than his irrational fear of automatic toilets, is normal. Who would like to begin today? I would. With a confession. My uncle never stuck his finger in my plop plop. I know, I'm bummed about it too. I'm sorry, I want to be interesting. I want to fit in with you guys. I want to be able to be an actor. No. Bathroom? Yeah, over here. I love your place, Troy. Brit is in the bed. Adios, Vito. Who is it? 
Troy. I'm <coughs> washing my hands. Good, then I can come in. Oh, hi. Oh, um, <clears throat> I was uh, smoking a cigarette. I know what you were doing. I'm 21 years old. I'm a man. I know that. We all know that. Then why is Jeff always picking on me? He's butting antlers with you because you're a threat now. You got your own place, you've got a future, you've got a bowl full of olives next to the toilet. It's a fancy party, Britta. You know what Jeff has in his bathroom? Neither do I. He keeps his toiletries in a safe under the sink. His whole personality is based around guarding himself. You don't have to be like that to be a man. You're really cool, Britta. I guess all the good ones went into porn. Ceiling fan. I miss all the fun. I wonder what happened in all those other timelines. Who, Who cares? cares? You and Troy hug, if you're comfortable with that. Of course. Yeah, Troy and I are buds, best buds, air buds, even. <laughs> <laughs> so feeling stupid. Last night I had an epiphany. I'm ready to step this mother up a notch. This commercial is going to push every button, starting with the one that is so hot, it will sizzle your finger. Race. And action. To meet different people. Cut. I'm coming in. I am trying to pull a 400-year-old dagger out of this nation's heart, and you two are hugging. Oh, I understand, but you... What did I do? You didn't. Let's take it again. To meet different people. <laughs> again. To meet different people. I need more. More! Wrong! Fight the power. Fight it with your hugs. Tear down those walls. Okay, you get this wrong one more time, I'm segregating the school. To meet different people. You can't even do it when we're helping you. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody help her. To meet different people. Stop saying I'm different. Dean, we've spent 12 hours on the scene. Maybe it's time to move on to something else. I'm in Psych 101 and even I don't know what's happening. The Dean is going insane and taking all of you with him. If you know that, then do something. I'm doing everything I can. I only have so many cameras. You are human tennis elbow. You are a pizza burn on the roof of the world's mouth. You are the opposite of Batman. Hey. end up in this position for all the time you spend here you'd think we wouldn't have to cram so much maybe we never get any work done because we have so much money out together definitely maybe that's why oh ah, yeah, you made it to wear the tie if we don't eat we can make believe a whole episode's worth of inspector space time in the dreamatorium word yeah maybe we should go to senior kevin's britta didn't you want to try that new cage free bean burrito the tortillas are made with microfinance flour troy you could drive. You always like that spiral parking ramp. <laughs> you just keep turning left, but you end up up. I can't go to Senior Kevin's. The manager and I are enemies. He said Die Hard was bad. He said Die Hard was bad. I know, buddy. Well, how about this? This lunch is already a runaway train. No point in stopping it. Troy, Britta, you go to Senior Kevin's. Abed promised he'd show me how the dreamatorium works. Today's the perfect day for it. But I want to... Abed, don't you think today's the perfect day for it? No. Abed? Is this a social cue? Good job, man. Well, we had a good lunch, too. Yeah. I love how binoculars make faraway things seem like they're close. They're like telephones for your eyes. If I enroll in the AC school, they'll help us. We could walk in and out. It'll mean I'll have to move out of here and into AC school housing, and I won't be able to hang out with you guys anymore, or have a relationship, or use the word sensational for some reason. Troy, we are not losing you to save the Dean, or Greendale, or anything, ever. Don't be so dramatic, Troy. The answer is simple. We just have to plan an elaborate heist. Great, I'll get my turban. Everyone except Pierce has to plan an elaborate heist. Troy. 
Joy, you didn't. There's no time. We gotta go. Troy, you don't have to do this. The AC school has no claim on your soul. No, but I do. A man's only as good as his word, or his nod, through a camera to a guy with a button. It's time. Say your goodbyes. This is a lock of my hair. Creepy. So, cellular mitosis is what? I miss Troy. Wrong, and stop guessing that. Mind if I cut in? Troy! You're back! Yeah. I made a new rule that the air conditioning repair school has to act like a regular school. I can do that because I'm their messiah. Cool. I went crazy and I wanted to cut off Jeff's arm. <laughs> I missed you so much, buddy. <laughs> so, Jeff, are you still best friends? Oh, so that's progressed. I mean, it's progressed, but it hasn't progressed, progressed. It's progressive. Good luck, Troy. Hey! It's a little weird doing this without Abed. Come on, it'll be fun. Put my, my Britta twist on it. I got skills. I got skills. Sorry. Let's get this started. We always do the first one together. One, two, three. I wish, I wish for a, a great thousand school wishes. year. Great school year? The first wish is always for a thousand wishes. But we have all these coins. <laughs> yeah, but the coins aren't the wishes. Oh, I didn't know that. I wish for Britta to have 499 of my remaining wishes. Thank you. I wish to end all wars. That's another rule. No wishes containing the word all. Guaranteed ironic consequences. I don't think anyone's gonna miss wars. Uh, Star Wars. Thumb Wars. Wow, storage wars. Fine. You can't get in the fountain! I'm taking that penny back! I already told you, the pennies aren't wishes. You can't flip a wish. That's ridiculous. Your rules are ridiculous. They're Abbott's rules. They're awesome. And they always work. Well, Abbott's not here, so... Unwish! You can't do that. I just did. Unwish! No! Rewish! Un Unwish! Got it! Unwish! No! No! Oh, I'm sorry! What? You're helping! You're helping! I like it! Un oh! Oh, God! Why does this feel good? And it was completely different from what I'd known before. And it was happening so fast. And that's why we leave the couple's costumes to the couples, she said wisely. You should probably warn your boyfriend's boyfriend. <laughs> Just because we're dating doesn't mean that we have to do everything together. Well, you need to do some things together. We do some things. We do a lot of things. <gasps> Not all the things. Things. A door, hacker-proof key code access panel, and impressive video telecom screen with remote. Maximum occupancy, one, with female companion. It's a graceful one in the group. I'm kind of embarrassed. Don't be. I've been locked in way worse places than this. Oh. Great. You won't tell me. Pierce won't tell me. I have no idea what to Google. I'll never know. Believe me, dating Britta, you'll know too much too soon. Soon enough. What does Britta have to do with this? Well, she's a modern woman with experienced tastes. I think it's nice you two are dating. I only hope she doesn't make you feel pressured. Pressured to what? To fulfill her expectations. Expectations of what? <laughs> never mind. Unsatisfied with what? Kate, Take that, Morgan! Good show, Inspector. Oh, wow. <laughs> there are 50 years of these, huh? Yeah, isn't it great? We can go anywhere and any time in the universe. But it'll probably be London during the Blitz. Oh, I think I finally got Abed to agree to let you come to the Inspector Space Time convention. <laughs> yeah. Are you watching Inspector Space Time? Why do you have to wake up so early? Can't we just tell Abed that we're sleeping together? No, no. Abed's fragile. We have to ease him into it, okay? Do we want him to freak out and then we have to rescue him from some fantasy world where submarines are small enough to enter the bloodstream? I totally want to do that. We need to go over the convention schedule again. Just a minute. Troy, it's a week away and we need to revise our whole strategy. Troy, I've printed out several maps of the convention center and color code the best potential routes. Now, we know I have under stride, but I'm assuming your superior physical fitness will allow you to kind of take greater speed. One thing for sure, though, we need to save time by changing your costumes in the car. Glenn. Hi, Ovid. 
just here for my breakfast tea with Troy. Oh, good morning, Britta. I haven't seen you in over 12 hours. <laughs> yeah. I know you two are having sex. I've known for weeks. What? Why didn't you say something? I love donuts. I can't believe it. Our first inspector con. It's beautiful. Now, you're sure it's okay Britta's here because she can just wait in the car. It's cool. Now, the first thing we need to do is find the booth where they take the gluon photo. It's a photo where two people were fused together, like the inspector and Reggie were bonded for eternity in episode 704. Oh! Hmm. Wait, was there a female inspector? Yes, and everyone hates her. Not because they're sexist, because she sucks. Well, I think it's cool. Britta. Annie! You're on your own, Alcapone. Everyone's entitled to their own opinion. Am I the only one freaked out by that? No, I think Abed was just showing that he's accepting of our relationship. <laughs> no, really, what was it? Let's go. I w yeah, what about the photo? Do they even have to talk? They could just touch tentacles and download. You know, this is good, because, you know, Abed's branching out, and, and Toby's really, r really great. No. Troy, I have seen that look. Girls have given me that look. You are not being crazy. That dude is trying to steal your boyfriend. Can I get a refill? I mean, what if Abed wants to replace me? He makes me so angry and sad all at the same time. I know, but you have to hide it because for some reason men find these feelings to be psycho and if you freak out, it's only going to push Abed away. Like I always say, if you love someone, set them free. And if they don't come back to you, they were never yours to begin with. That makes no sense. What if they get hit by a car or fall down a well? Remind me to not put you down as my emergency contact. All right. Play it cool. Make nice for Toby. Shoot. Oh, honey. You went all psycho girlfriend on Abed, didn't you? Yeah. I screwed up. Classic Troy. It's okay. It happens to the best of us. I got you a present. A quantum spanner. Yeah, it lights up or plays music or something. Britta? Do you agree to be bonded to me forever in the gluon chamber for an expensive souvenir photograph? Absolutely. <sighs> okay, just hold it there, okay? And in between the bottom right here. Everything okay? Every everything's fine. What is a gluon anyway? Can we stop talking about Abed? I'm sorry, I I can't. It doesn't feel right. It's okay, I understand. Go to him. Are you sure? I've told you before. I don't care about Inspector Space Time. That is so great! And I have a surprise for you guys! Really pushing me here. He's back. Let's see Dr. Jeff! You guys are all cloned up, too, huh? Yeah, leaving cloning. Well, that's my right. I'm so excited for you. You're going to see the world and experience new cultures. I mean, technically, all culture has been homogenized by 50 years of American imperialism, but at least the candy bar wrappers will... <sighs> there I go. Almost spread it our goodbye, huh? I'm the worst. You're the best, and I love you. Better at sex than Jeff, right? I've yet to have anyone worse. <laughs>